I'm Katrina and this is So and Terror. Today we are talking about blackberries. Now blackberries are something that are really really good. You can find them wild in a lot of places and you can find the cultivated kinds. You can even find the cultivated varieties such as Himalayan blackberry. <laughs> kind of gone feral, kind of gone wild. So <clears throat> I can give you a little bit of an overview of how I grow my blackberries and how you may choose to grow yours. So uh, blackberries right here are becoming ripe. I have four different types. There is, well, I have four different types on this row here. This used to be a, uh, a laundry you know, clothesline. So there's this end and then there's another end on the other side of the citrus. I jackhammered that up and uh, moved those pieces of concrete elsewhere and planted things. So that's how I roll. Um, there are four different varieties along this, this line here and I have them in cattle panel. Cattle panel, if you guys haven't been paying attention, I love cattle panels, using them as trellises and archways and all of that because they are just so strong and they last. So that's what I use here and ideally they would be woven through. Now last year I did not get to cleaning out the old canes. So these are called a cane. So this, this thing, they're not branches, they're canes. Um, so I have boysenberry, triple crown, black satin, and I believe the other one is a lullaberry, but I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. It's so been so long. And the way I planted them happens to be ripening in order from south to north, and it just happens to be that way. However, they have babies. Guys, I planted all thornless varieties, and they had babies and all of the babies have thorns. <laughs> so if you plant a thornless variety um, and you don't want thorns, make sure you pull up any, any starts right away because they will likely have thorns. Something I didn't expect. Um, you're going to miss blackberries that they're going to miss some and they are going to drop and they're going to start babies. So uh, that's something to keep, keep in mind um, when you're managing. So let's zoom in here and I'll show you a little bit more about them. So as you can see, a lot of these are getting ripe and I need to pick them. So many, there's so many in there too. I need to reach in and get them. <clears throat> and I just want to show you guys how big this cane is. So this right here, that is um, a blackberry cane. And I don't know which variety it is because it comes up from the roots, but that is one of our named varieties. And look at that, that's like, it's so big. And that branch goes all the way over here, all the way there and all the way over here. It's so big guys, it's so big. So I have been trying to flop it over that, so over the top of that, and it just wants to grow this way, so I'm just kind of putting it on top of the citrus. And otherwise it's going to go into our pathway. There's gonna be wonderful berries on here. Some of them are starting to ripen. These are blackberries again, not raspberries. So those would get black, but I'm putting them over there. Now there's some other ones that have gone over here and are ripening right there. So I have my task set out for me and I'm going to be collecting berries and it's they're so wonderful you can do so many things with them you can make jams and jellies you can eat them by themselves you can freeze them um, i'm not going to be freeze drying these because the seeds are too hard and they don't lose the water is what i have been told uh, i don't know if that's true or not but it's okay i can do other things with them and um, i have used them in milkshake before so i made um blackberry juice and put it in a milkshake. I think that's what I did on a video. It might be a different kind of juice, but I will put a link up here um, for that video because who doesn't like a milkshake? <laughs> so let's get to picking and I'll show you the end result. I have limited time this morning because it's before work, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> 
So I really like these baskets. They're from the dollar store, dollar store, dollar tree, whatever. I like them because they have holes in the bottom and on the sides. And for berries, especially if they're gonna sit in the fridge for a day or two before I do anything with them, um, that ventilation can be really important. So that's how I operate. Other people might put them in a plastic bag, put them in the freezer until they're ready. But I like to have this because then you can use this as a colander as well. Um, when you wash them and all of that and so I like these they tend to be the best for my purposes so let's get to harvesting so you may or may not choose to wear you know long sleeves or whatever um, the ones I'm picking right now are mostly going to be uh, the the volunteers the babies the ones that seeded themselves and have thorns um, it looks like some of the first type, I believe is boysenberry, is ready. I don't separate them when I, when I pick them, I just pick them. Um, I figure they're close enough in flavor. They do have different flavors, but, but they're close enough in flavor that it's, it's fine. And i um, not worried about you know, keeping them separate as far as in my eating and stuff like that. You can see sometimes there's these huge bundles of them and sometimes they're easy to just all of them come off if you pick them early that's okay but it's better to wait but if you don't have time I mean you'll be fine eating some that are slightly underripe now you know I do have those farmer sleeves and that's something that um, And that's, the farmer's sleeve are something that I, you know, I really, really like, and you guys know I wear them for all sorts of things. They don't really protect from the prickles of the blackberries. Um, they're more for like prickles of zucchini and stuff like that. Um, they, they do okay for blackberries, but it's, it's really not a protective thing. It, they'll protect you from the sun when you're picking, really. That's, that would be the purpose of wearing them when picking blackberries. See, like that's not ripe yet it's almost ripe and when you have your own blackberries you can pick them when they're ripe we'll continue picking and there's gonna be a lot i'm gonna end up with purple fingers <laughs> and i don't even know if i'm gonna get it all done before work i have to come back and do this tomorrow or in the evening to get all the ripe ones What's nice about having several varieties of blackberry or of anything is you can actually have a longer season of blackberry. So like I said, these guys ripen at slightly different times and that can just extend your, your blackberry season, which is pretty cool. Now on the other side of the citrus, of some of the citrus I have um, what's called dewberry and that is a larger blackberry and they are very good. It's funny, you can pick over an area and then repick it because you just didn't see something. Squish that one, whoops. So good though, guys. Look at that one. I think that one's one of our name varieties. Yeah, pretty sure this is a boysenberry. Good morning, kitten. Good morning. So guys, I sat in basically the same spot for, I don't know, not very long. <laughs> I already have quite the basket full. Well, oops, those are early too. Uh, they're still a little tart when they're a little bit red. Oops. Alright, well I'll show you how much I got from just sitting this here, this little area here, and there's more in here. Um, but look at that. I'd say it's probably a couple cups. I didn't measure it in cups, but that's what it is. Whenever possible, I try and take these out, the little um, 
tops of the berries and then also the uh, petals while I'm picking them because they can be a pain after but it's fine I'll pick them out later too so I'm gonna continue to pick and come back and show you guys what I got hi little boy did you take over my seat hmm you took over my seat there's blackberries Yeah. Kitty cats don't really like blackberries, do they? All right. Well guys, I am out of time. It is time for me to go to work. And we have a pretty good basket. It's about that full, almost all the way full. And they are so awesome. So morning before work pick of blackberries. I'm gonna take them inside. I'm actually going to rinse them and let them sit in the drainer, the, the, the uh, dish drainer. And then partway through the day, I'll pop them in the refrigerator and we'll figure out what to do. Well, I'm going to eat some for breakfast. <laughs> there you go. One more tip on our way out. If your blackberries are going like this and are touching the ground, they will root. So make sure that that's either what you want them to do or that you move them. <laughs> so if you like the video, hit the like. And if you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and enjoy your blackberries. Blackberries are so good and you don't need like pesticides and stuff. When you get them from the store, there's a lot of pesticides involved. When you grow them yourself, you don't need any. All right. Enjoy the day. Thank you for watching.